My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Monster Train. We're gonna be going random clan, random clan, coming in 12. Ooh, Melting Remnant Awoken. We've got Intent on Death in the deck by base. Do you like that? Uh, the Seraph the Temperant is going to be sapping my units. Apply Dazed Enemy Units when they enter the Pyre Room. Your Pyre gains negative five. Sure. I'll take that. Dang, didn't get the one I was hoping for here. Uh, resolve to reform a random unit. I'll take that. Because we might try and pick up an Extinguish Trigger and then give Holdover to our Extinguish Triggering card. Have a good run that way. Uh, the start of battle enemies appear on each floor. Completely countered by the Vapor Funnel. I can just set up on the bottom floor. Doesn't matter. Any of those units get to the top, they just die. So if I put the dragon front, the Apprentice of Light kills it, gains damage shields, but then Rectoflicker gets it back this turn, starts giving it burnout, and uh, or starts reforming it, rather. Uh, but then I only deal 10 damage here, and then the Trusted Priest heals 5. So you get pretty much outside of the range of me being able to remove you before you do any damage to my pile. But if I put a dragon in the back line right now, we do 5, 14, 24, 24 damage to you. 5 health, 5 health, so 14. So you'd still need like one drag to hit you in the face in order to kill you. That could be next turn. Trigger a unit's extinguish ability without killing it. Extinguish, gain, uh, triggers on death, gain 50 gold. Huh! <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> Love it. Uh, Well, this is annoying. We can't do anything about that Apprentice of Light. In fact, even if I restore, this is the same amount of damage I'm about to take anyway. Uh, if, if I drip fall you down, then the Apprentice of Light on the top line... The thing is, I can't deal damage to you next turn anyway. Because no matter what I play on the top floor, it's going to have uh, dazed. So unless next turn I'm descending you, it sh in which case you'd be behind this whole party in order to get attacked by something. Yeah, that's never going to happen. I'm never going to prevent the Princess of Light here from hitting the last shard of the pyre two times. So if I'm not going to be able to prevent it from hitting the last shard of the pyre two times, drip falling this doesn't, doesn't, doesn't fix anything. Hoping I have enough regen on that frontline unit to save us. Huh. No amount of regen on that unit was going to save us. Because we can't kill the disciple foot soldier in the back line. Ugh. Well, this sucks. I'm going to try and get as much damage as I can out there then. So I've taken nine damage to this modifier so far. Yeah, can't move those down into a dead room already. Ouch. Interestingly, the fact that we took the challenge there had nothing to do with the fact that we took damage. We took no damage due to the challenge. 
Well, we could have set up a second floor one turn earlier. So we might have taken three damage due to it. But the rest of that? Just due to not having the right units to counter the enemies there. Your fine cleanse is always a nice early pickup here. I need the ability to kill some backline units. And at the moment, if Grasp is the only way I can do it, Grasp is the only way I can do it. It's not how I want to be doing it, but it's the only way I can do it. Then I'm going to circle back to the thing I said before about it being the only way I can do it. Much of steel, what do you got for me? Large stone, that'd be great on a Animus of Will. Will I get one? I don't think I will. There's a Thorned Hollow here, though. We have two Wildwood Saps in the deck by base. I could give that large stone. Heck, I could give it extra health with the heart stone as well. It's a great low line unit. I like it. I like it. I'm into it. Let's do it. I will need another unit though. That's going to handle our taking out of chumps. I'll take a unit draft there as well. Okay. Start getting a dreg reformed. go hit my restore again. Why don't you go do that again again? <laughs> there you go. Got him. Great unit right there. Just good unit. I guess the Entomb's explosive, but I don't think I want it anymore. Yeah, it's not a good extinguish. Restoration Detonation is a great, great card for us here. Do I want another Thorned Hollow? No, it's Thorned Hollow bottom floor with the spikes. Lady of the Reformed next floor, put stuff behind the Lady of the Reformed, make a burnout floor. I like it. Especially because I already have the card support for that. And I have healing, which is another kind of like soft support for that. Remnant unit as well as steel or awoken unit. Probably remnant unit as well as steel right now. Let's have a look at the steel. Quick burnout plus 10. Uh... Yeah, this is four size right now, the Thorn Hollow, so I can't just put a Wickless Tycoon behind it. I would love to, but I can't afford to. Stings gain plus 20 magic power. Suddenly, Stings are good. That took 20 health, though. <laughs> probably, probably should have given that one money at a point. Large stone, lady that reformed. Okay. I mean, she does need health. Hmm. Giving her spikes also was a consideration there, but. And then what's the Thorned Hollow doing? And I put so much money into that Thorned Hollow. If 
Bye, champion. Thankfully, the champion isn't really part of how we uh, win <laughs> this. So I'm not super sad about having to do that. I'm surprised I haven't drawn any dregs yet, though. Now we have dregs. That'll do. <clears throat> Although, wait, hang on. No one got to the second line this turn. Oops. Uh, let's... Wait, you're not even burning out this turn. What? Oh, you're taking damage to the Trusted Priest's Extinguish! Wild. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> never mind, they're not getting to that floor. Okay. Formless child. Love it. Love it. We're going to use that and we're going to use the intent to. Oh. No, wait. We already have a. We don't need another house comet. It's fine. No. No, we don't need that. Hmm. So Formless Child at the moment just sits behind the Thorned Hollow and we just wait until units die and then we bring them back and then we put them behind the Lady of the Reformed. So we're actually going to want a specific amount of units. And also the, uh, the, the Rector Flicker actually reforming units constantly here. Not good. <laughs> it's actually going to harm us. I like extra energy. I also like extra draw here. I'm going to take the extra draw, and I'm going to try and use cost reduction on all of the important cards in my deck. Dupe anything? I don't know if there's anything I would even dupe right now. Yeah, definitely not. Artifacts could really help, though. Sting artifacts. Sh uh, Shiv artifacts. Shiv, sorry. Uh, that's Sting. Sorry, Sting, sting artifacts. Spike artifacts. Really good as well. Merchant cost reduced by 25%. We have no tomb units in the entire deck, so pretty easy choice for me. God, I wish I just had the hybridization for getting bigger there. Would have been way better. Oh, there's enemy unit sent with spikes four. Totally fine with that. Makes it easier for me to bring them back. That is, if my units die more often, it makes it easier for me to bring them back. Not in love with the fact that I didn't have any healing on that floor, but that's the way it goes sometimes. There's our first heal, so now the cool marksman dies. So just keep you... Getting healthier. Mmm. Killing the backline here actually makes the frontliner not die, but they will die to the, the pyre, however, they will still deal their spikes damage. Let's go for that giant hit. I'll take a Dreg back, thank you. And that Dreg now has a bunch of damage, and I'll pop it behind there to keep it around for a little longer. Well, what's that? You say it's going to die again? I hope so. I'm counting on it.
nice. And as often is the case here, our bottom floor is enough. That'll be the case early on, but it's going to stop being the case real soon. I guess plus 40, sure. Just because I want to heal right now, I'll take that. I'll take another intent on death. Death, sure. Preserve thorns. Preserve thorns is nice. It's really good. It's really good with the channel heart and also opens me up to seeing more uh, or rather going crazy for some more sting relics. Uh, again, I don't think there's anything in the deck yet that I'm happy to dupe. When a friendly unit dies, enhance it with plus 10. We are bringing them back constantly. That might be good enough. Your player gets plus 15 damage. Apply days three to enemy units and move to outside of uh, Ascension Phase. We do have two Drip Falls in the deck, but I'm going to take now any unit that goes to the top with less than 40 health or 40 health even just dies. They just died in the Vapor Funnel. Which I think will save me a lot of HP. If Resin Block is ever going to be good, it's going to be right now. Fine. Then I think we remove two train stewards. In the next area, I just want to focus on removal. Yeah, there's a Merchant of Steel as well as two Pyromains. Merchant of Steel? Like, there's nothing I'm going to purchase there. So I'm, uh, I'm just going for the double removal in the next area as well. Sure. All right. So we have sweep, we have big dude removal, although it's takes a while to set up the big dude removal. Uh, enemies enter with armor 15. That makes the early rounds a little bit of a problem for us, but I think I can deal with it, especially with the pyre already having the extra 15 damage. So I don't want anything to die to the sweep slay. Just because the slay gives them extra damage and then that'll give them the ability to kill even more things. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, what windfall. I can't believe I drew both of those on that turn. Regen, regen, restoration, detonations, huge hit. You know what? You're dying on this floor anyway. Kill an extra unit for me, please. We have too many dregs at the moment. And I'm not restoring any of them yet. Hang on. Yeah, there is a dragon there. Great. Bring it back. There we go. Now we have one good drag. It's fine. You're going to die as soon as you get to the top of the map as well. And then regen. Restore. Oh, gosh. Okay, do I have anything? I don't have anything dead! Dang it! So the formless child isn't going to do anything. Okay, 
Let's go this drag on that line and then triple. <laughs> All of them die when they go to the top line, but they don't even get there because I'm going to kill you on the bottom floor. Thorn Dollar was so good. <laughs> uh, I mean, I need a way to kill my own units if I want another intent on death here. I don't think I can take it. Uh, Awake is really good. Engraft's also really good here. Just helps us with a little bit of extra energy. Uh, helps us get another rejuvenate trigger on the Thorned Hollow quite quickly. Take the engrafts. I want more uh, rejuvenation triggers. Okay, yeah, so we're going over this way for the health and double removal. We oftentimes end up with dregs in hand that we have no way to play because we have nowhere to put them. Okay, if I give endless to the formless child. If he gets swept, I'm fine. Let's play it again. I could also just give it health. Yeah, it's fine. I, I want it to live, and then I want my abilities to be how it uh, how it triggers. I could honestly try and upgrade one of these dregs right now, because they are coming back multiple times. Like, re-roll, try and get multi-strike or something like that. Probably going double removal merchant in the next area as well. That merchant is for spells. Yeah, I'll save my money until then at least. Alright. Fell is empowering the units with rage. So that's annoying. Means there is more sweep to deal with here. Start out in exactly the same way I did prior though. Gonna get some damage out on that unit, and now if they go to the top line, they die. Hmm. Don't have anyone to bring back right now. No. Okay, so intent on death is not having a great time. Go for the restoration detonation there. Just because otherwise that wave goes up and becomes a little more intimidating and intent on death for nothing. I mean, at least the resin block is now upgrading them, but it's the resin block instead of me upgrading them now at this point. It's frustrating. Yeah, there is no way for me to play a train steward. Not really. Put it on this line and have it start dying. Sure, fine. Still hasn't died yet. And unfortunately, now I don't have the ability to play them on the bottom line. That was bad. That was badly done. Killing that now means the Master of Light on top is dead. Good.
So I'm going to play those two dregs on the top line. Because I think I leave them in the deck and then try and get them behind Lady the Reformed in the next cycle. Give me a train steward! Wait, hang on, it doesn't even come with burnout. Ooh. Go down. Let's descend you, we'll vine grasp you to the front, and then I'm gonna... Restoration detonation be your death. That'll do. Yeah, without the regen, we're only in round. Uh, we're only in combat for two rounds. There, you know what? It's more damage. And then bring him back. You a good unit as well. All right. We got the Burnout Hollow back, but I don't have space to play it here on the top. Maybe the Reform would be an excellent frontliner if I could put her down. <laughs> oh, yikes. We got uh, pretty bad, pretty bad pulls there. Restoration detonation is 50 damage at least. That's 20. Yeah, that's all I can do. Okay, our pyre might be strong enough here. Yep, it worked out. I think we want more capacity now. Oh, consume cards in hand. Add a draft unit to your hand. Enhance it with plus 10 damage for each card consumed. I love it. We'll get a powerful draft and then we'll start doing it with that. Uh, I think I do want capacity now. I want, yeah, I want the ability to put units behind other units. Especially because I have my large stoned units. Uh, consume that cost. Uh, I wouldn't be sad about doing that to the the preserved thorns. Wouldn't be that sad about it at all. Lower the cost of the engraft. Remove consume from that. Send magic power to anything. Restoration detonation and purifying cleanse both want this. I'll give it to Resto Deto and give the next one to purifying cleanse if I can. Holdover would also be good for that. Permafrost. I mean, I can permafrost an intent on death until the exact right time to play it. Permafrost the sacrificial resurrection until I have a bad hand. That is a good pick there, I think. Um. As the rest of those, I'm okay. Consume cards in your hand and add a draft to your hand. Enhance it with plus. 
can can the formless child get back the consumed minions from sacrificial resurrection hmm Hmm, I wonder. Oh, hell yeah! Uh, we're gonna go Heaven's Gold. Pyre gets plus one damage for every 10 gold I have. So now it has 82. So if any enemy gets to the top of the pyre with less than 82, 82 or less rather health, it dies instantly. We really don't want that resolving that many units. <laughs> Might have to take the harvest. That does give it better stats, though. Yeah, it gives it significantly better stats, and that is often, like, the last kiss that we give enemies before they go to the pyre room. So it could be important. Nombus enemy is enter with spikes. Four, uh, five. I love that, don't I? Gives me the ability to get my uh, units reforming pretty much every turn because they kill themselves by attacking the enemy. It'll cost me a little more in healing, but I also did just get a little better at healing just a moment ago. Oh, Intent on Death wouldn't have done anything there anyway. Sorry, I thought I was casting Vine Grasp. Take away all of their multi-strike, though. Happy to do it. Okay. They do the reforms. Extend your lifespan. Top line already takes that out. I want to get the formless child down, but I don't think I need it for a while. But I do think I need these stings. This healing might be too late. Right? One, ten, so ten, twenty, thirty, thirty-one. I I can no wait, hang on. These are actually twenty each because they will actually trigger their extinguishability as well. Yeah, we're about to have a bad time. I can't live through that. Not on that floor. Hmm. Start giving regen to you. Hundred and sixty suck. Let's go. Restoration detonation for a hundred damage there. It's a lot. It's a lot. Let's get those reformed again. Actually, if I use a single sting on... Hang on, well, one sec. Get the extra energy. Refine cleanse as well. Single sting on the top line there is enough. And then... Do I cast these stings or do I eat them? I think it might be time to eat them. Draft. Get him, draft. That draft didn't come back. That's exactly what I wanted. Formless child. Intent on death. Hello, world's biggest draft. Welcome back. Hmm. 
We're going to have to try and get you back again next turn. Which means... I mean, you're either going to be reformed by the Rector Flicker or I'm going to reform you manually, right? So, let's set up a bottom floor. Didn't get it back manually. All right. There we go. I'm fine with this top line dying. Okay. Draft goes there. The thing I'm thinking about... Actually, hang on. Do you have any spikes right now? You don't. So the multi-strike on the winged conduit is still there. See, I'm thinking I can vine grasp that out of position, or in order to keep the draft alive this turn, so that I don't have to rely on... I mean, I have another Sacrificial Resurrection in the next hand anyway. Hmm... Know what to do? I could descend you this turn, just have you deal you know, 302 damage. I actually only have to dislocate the winged conduit. Okay. So I'm leaving my reformer there on the top line just in case it becomes desperately necessary. Let's preserve thorns for many more thorns. I'll take the 10 health and then... Big drive. Got him. Big drive. <laughs> Thank you for the extra 400 there. Much appreciated. Remove all burnout and debuff effects from your units. Harvest gain one soul. Extinguish deal damage to the enemy units equal to 15 times the soul count. Seraph the Temperant. Seraph the Temperant, I think, does have sweet, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. So, hmm. I might go Devourer of Death, put the Devourer of Death behind our uh, Thorned Hollow, and then just... It's a good... On turns where I don't have other uh, intent on Death Triggers, it's a good intent on Death Trigger. I think I need another one of these. That is another way of gaining spikes or using spikes. Okay, spell upgrades, holdover would be nice, spell damage would be nice, double stack would be Okay, yeah, we want this one. Not hard to convince me, especially Merchant of Trinket. Extinguishability trigger an additional time. Hell yeah! Uh, front uh, When a friendly unit is healed, deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to the amount healed. The first time a unit is healed, each turn draw one. Those were amazing relic pickups for us. I mean, to just... I mean, I should lower the cost of the good ones, right? But I might want that every turn if I get hold over in the next hand. Double stack. Okay. And then reduce the cost again. What am I reducing the cost on? Reducing the cost on you because I want to play you every turn. Plus 10 magic power as well. Sure. So what do we want to dupe? Bottom floor can have two Devourers of Death. It has space. It might be another Restoration Detonation right now, though. Actually, it looks a lot like it's another Restoration Detonation. Okay. 
Okay, and then let's reroll here. Sting spells gain plus three magic power and piercing. I mean, piercing? If I'd held off, I would have plus three magic power on them as well. Across the board, held off on upgrades rather until they check things. Uh, final removal is probably another drag. Uh, is it another drag? I think it might be a drip fall. All right, Seraph. You've never seen a build like this. I know, because I haven't either. Gonna be a weird one. Devourer of Death wants to go on the bottom floor, but uh, he's going to have a hard time here. Shame. Bad, bad opening, man. Solid 100 damage. Keep getting restores on you. Until now, you have enough to kill the Shade Wings with your first strike back. Just remove one of them for the sake of a little bit. Less damage being taken, and Gen 10 seems good. Good lord, is it rough to defend on this line right now? Very happy now to be better set up because yikes. All right. Think we're out of hot water now. Two dregs. Still want them on the top line, I think. Not there burning out. Obviously, the regen goes on that target. Uh, I'm starting to feel like Preserve Thorns and then Sacrificial Resurrection is a good play this turn. It does get rid of one of my intents on death. Maybe I do keep that. Sure. Sure, I'll keep that. Leave the draft. We pop the draft on the top floor, and it will get brought back this turn by the Rector Flicker. Hey, we drew the Restoration Detonation again? How'd that work? Oh, <laughs> we duped it. I forgot. <laughs> it's like the best decision I made this whole run. Forgot. Plain plum forgot that I did it. Uh, I, I think that's drafts. Yeah, I think that drafts good enough for now. Big heels. Just doing such large work. Okay. Uh, do I have anyone dead? No. There we go. Intent on death deals no damage to it. Oh my god, it does it to all enemies as well. I didn't even think about that. Didn't even think about that. Hang on. 
Draft died. No, Draft is still alive. It's just very, very thin, so I couldn't see it. Okay. Pew. <laughs> This build is so ridiculous. I love it. <laughs> Goodbye to all of those. Hello to this draft. Now, I'm going to pop this draft. Yes. On the bottom line. So it will die after the resolve trigger on the flicker. And in doing so... Nice. Uh, it will be a... Uh, it'll be something I can get back this turn because it hasn't already been gotten back this turn. But it looks like we're probably just... <laughs> oh, the damage is insane. Oh, that's, uh, that was, that was wild. We're not dealing enough damage on this floor yet. Yet being operative. Intent on death you first, just to see. Devourer of death, that's good enough. As on honestly, that just goes on the top line. I think we already have the kill. But just in case, I'll put you to within one sting of death. I want to try and use the devourer of death for the final hit here. Wait, hang on. Nothing has died on your floor, so you have no soul, right? Yeah, of course. Of course. There's nothing's happened here yet. That makes sense. <laughs> Let me kill you with a restoration detonation. <laughs> oh, these clans work together so well. I actually ended up using, like, a significant part of each of the clans' tool set there. And... They could not have worked together better. Very soft synergies rather than hard synergies, but hard to doubt uh, it was super useful. If we didn't have that vapor funnel, we would have died ages ago. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we would not have lived. But we did. And now we've got Covenant Rank 13. Add a copy of the Primary Clan starter duck, uh, card to your deck, as well as golded or gilded, rather, three of these cards. The Restoration Detonation, Thaunt Hollow, and the Devourer of Death. Increase that win streak. And uh, about now, I should probably say something along the lines of My name is Rhapsody, the name of the game has been Monster Train. Hopefully, you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully, we'll see you next time.